approximately 1420 on Sunday, November 18th, 2012. Eastbound on State Route 86 in Southern Arizona. This is an east-west highway over 40 miles north of the international border with Mexico that never intersects the border at any point. It connects local communities in Southern Arizona and is not a nexus point for border traffic. Nonetheless, it hasn't stopped the Department of Homeland Security from diverting scarce border security resources away from the actual border to instead engage in far less efficient and effective uh, enforcement operations nowhere near the border at suspicionless checkpoints along highways such as this one that never intersect the border at any point to harass and intimidate domestic traffic inside the country instead. At these internal Border Patrol slash Homeland Security uh, roadblocks, armed Border Patrol agents who aren't actually uh, patrolling the border uh, stop and seize uh, domestic traffic inside the country. At the one that I'll be seized at here very shortly near mile marker 147, just a few miles outside of Three Points, Arizona, has been in operation since uh, early January of 2008. Uh, but is considered a tactical or temporary uh, roadblock because it is very mobile, has no permanent structures, and has been set up along, as I've indicated, along this secondary road that has no direct nexus to an international uh, border. Uh, armed Border Patrol agents uh, man these checkpoints, uh, as do specially trained canine units with uh, dogs that are dual trained, at the very least, to detect not only humans, but also uh, narcotics. Uh, and these dogs are utilized uh, in an expansive mode at pre-primary, primary, and secondary inspection stations, while absent any individualized suspicion in the vast majority of cases. The use of these uh, drug-sniffing dogs in such a fashion against domestic traffic inside the country clearly runs afoul of the U.S. Supreme Court's limitations on the types of checkpoints and roadblocks that be, can be conducted. Specifically, in the year 2000, the Supreme Court struck down uh, as illegal and unconstitutional any checkpoint with the primary purpose of general law enforcement or drug interdiction. This is a case known as City of Indianapolis versus Edmond. The Border Patrol tries to get around this, however, by claiming that this is a limited scope immigration uh, checkpoint, even though dogs can't be trained to sniff uh, the citizenship of any particular person who comes through the checkpoint. In addition to the Border Patrol, the DEA also plays a prominent role here. Border Patrol agents are cross-certified to enforce federal drug laws. And additionally, the DEA has set up a suspicionless uh, <coughs> camera array system, surveillance camera array system, um, just uh, in the boundaries of this Border Patrol checkpoint that has automated license plate readers and additional uh, cameras for recording everything there is to record about vehicles entering and exiting the area. This information is uh, shared with other federal agencies and local law enforcement for who knows what purposes, but it's clearly a suspicionless surveillance scheme put in place by the DEA uh, to surveil the traveling public. Remember, this is supposed to be America, the land of the free and home of the brave. I'm not feeling too free when I travel along this road trying to get to and from work on a regular basis and am routinely seized and surveilled by all manner of federal alphabet agencies. We have three agents here today on the south side of the road, another two agents in the middle of the road, 